Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here. The winter update containing the sixth job advancement is coming in 59 days on the 15th of November, and I need to get my characters in the best shape possible so that we can instantly enjoy all the new content. In this series, I'm focusing on two characters. My main, a level 262 Shade, and my newest character Kane, who is still getting to level 260. In the last episode, we talked about familiars and general progression, and I already made some steps towards um, my goals. Things didn't really go as planned. In this episode, though, we're going to focus on leveling up faster, and how someone who doesn't have a lot of time can spend their time best preparing. Honestly, if I can play MapleStory for more than two hours a week, besides my dailies, that's actually quite a lot. So I wanted to show just how easy it is to get gains every day while focusing on the bare minimum. But before we dive into all of that, we're first going to quickly go over today's video sponsor, Awesome. These sponsorships help keep the channel going and your support is always greatly appreciated. For some reason, my boss doesn't really like it when I play MapleStory during work. I know, weird right? But I still want to complete those dailies and get those login rewards. Thankfully, I never miss a beat with this all-in-one remote access tool. Using the awesome game version, I can get and customize a game keyboard so I can play MapleStory for my phone without any disturbances. And of course, the usability doesn't just end there. You can also use the remote access to transfer files you forgot to send or even turn off your PC in case you want to save money on that electricity bill. If you want to try this out yourself you can use the code appearing on the screen to get a seven day trial of awesome remote game. This is only for the first 200 people so act quickly. Head over to the awesome website, sign in, click on rewards, fill out the code and then you're in. You can then easily set up your screen mirroring with your QR code and once that ends just using the app will reward you with sunshine which can be used to get more days of awesome game or awesome pro. Sometimes Austin also offers additional days for free just like that, so that's always nice to grab. The basic version of Austin is free by the way, so you can always install that one. But there also is the pro and game plan. I'm using the game plan myself for the customizable keyboard. Adding more devices also will give you a discount on the plan. But Austin doesn't just offer remote software, they even have remote switches. In case you turned off your PC and want to turn it back on remotely or monitor your energy consumption, you can even set timers and schedules. You can check the Austin app or website if you want to learn more about those. And of course the remote software tool itself. There is a link in the video description and top comment. Don't forget to check out the code and now back to the video. So leveling, but why is that even important right now? We actually need to reach level 260 before we even can start the 6th job advancement, but there is more to it. Especially for those Maples who are in the reboot server, and there are a lot of you from what I can tell. In MapleStory Korea, when the 6th job update called New Age was released, the HP and EXP values of reboot monsters were changed to be similar to those of the regular server monsters. Basically, the monsters will be a lot easier to kill, which is great for characters with low damage projectiles and summons like Mechanics and Corsair, who are struggling quite a lot in the early game in reboot. The level difference penalty will also go away, making it easier to trade at monsters higher level than your character but smarter people than me actually also did the math and their conclusion is that leveling will be slightly slower until level 260 but after that point it will get even worse i've seen calculations which estimate like 40 percent less exp from mobs level 270 plus that is a big yikes. So many high level maplers who are in reboot are currently focusing on grinding as much as they can as they expect this change to come over to MapleStory Global. And I also believe that Nexon is going to add this change. So if you do have a lot of free time, you should definitely focus on leveling up to reach like level 285 if you can. However, I myself, I'm not really focusing on the grind all that much on my main. The main reason for that is simply time constraint. I only have time to actually play for maybe 2 hours a week besides my dailies like I just earlier mentioned. So instead, I focus on my dailies only and do what I can in those other few spare hours. For characters above level 260, this means doing Cernium dailies and Monster Park Extreme. With Monster Park Extreme being a huge source of EXP, especially on Sunday when Monster Park rewards 50% more EXP, which can get enhanced even more during some sunny Sunday events. Just clearing Monster Park Extreme on Sunday and completing the Cernium Daily Quest already rewards you with a fat 3.5% EXP, which is a great time investment, way faster than grinding at least. That's why I'm trying to make some leveling gains slowly through my dailies and MPE, while trying to get some unique familiars. Hopefully I can get lucky soon so I can start grinding in better EXP maps. So far, no luck with the familiars though. These things feel more than they actually upgrade. It is crazy. 
If you're going to go for the familiar route, make sure to equip all the drop gear that you have, use legion drop coupons and what else just to find as many as you can as quickly as possible. I also spent some time yesterday to off event star force my gear. I highly recommend to not do that. <laughs> Unless you're planning of course on getting lucky. I was planning on that as well, but only gained one star on my helmet and lost one star on my top after booming both items multiple times. Always hitting those uh, lower percentages when I definitely do not need them. I'm preparing for a longer grind next week on my cane. I want to hit level 255 so I can actually grind for familiars on this character, then transfer those over to my main so my main can actually focus on other stuff. So to prepare for my grind, I'm actually bossing. When you defeat bosses like Akechi, Lotus, Damien and all the stronger bosses, there is a chance for them to drop 50% EXP buffs that stack with other buffs. It's like an MVP buff, but for yourself. So you will be waiting for those MVP buffs to be casted. And sometimes you get double lucky and actually find a small EXP accumulation potion from these bosses, which increases EXP gains by 10% and they also stack with other buffs. So go boss to level up faster. Besides, of course, the usual, like, you know, Monster Park for gold potions, Monster Park on Sunday for EXP buffs, Legion EXP buffs, you, you, I think you guys know by now where you can get those common EXP buffs. Besides that though, there's also one uncommon way, there is a Punch King event active right now, where you can obtain triple EXP cards, reaching higher stages rewards even more cards, so if you're up for that challenge, make sure to punch your ticket to a higher level. But besides that, I'm basically doing the same for this character as I'm doing for my main, just completing my daily quest, 6 star quest and monster park twice, but even when you're not buying the additional tickets, it's already an easy and not time consuming way to both work on your damage as you'll level up your arcane symbols and to work on your level as you'll gain just a few percent a day from doing this as well. It's easy and stable game. So even if you don't have that much time, just make sure to do your dailies, do Monster Park, complete the 6 star event and you're gonna slowly get there as well. If you can keep it up, there's gonna be a level of potion from the Fairy Bros event as well. All the way at day 70, the one at day 28 will only give you a little bit of EXP as it works up to level 240. But the one from day 70 will work up to level 250, which gives you quite a chunk of EXP even above level 250. Also, make sure to keep an eye out on those sunny Sunday events. I know it's a bit late already by the time this video goes live, but this week's sunny Sunday is a soul event. And I actually got a Mac Lotus Soul, which is considered to be of high tier. Only one though, and the result wasn't actually that good. I got freaking all stats instead of like attack or boss damage or IED. Oh well, at least it wasn't HP. If you want to know more about soul tiers, I added the link to this website that you're seeing right now in the video description. The next two sunny Sundays are also going to be great for grinding, so make sure to keep an eye on that as well. And that's all I had for today, for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. And what are you doing to prepare? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, special thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Konig, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Jesus Rodriguez, Kali Mora, Wai Li, Riser Aryu, Backspace OTI, Ziggy Deer, History Cannon, Safronix, Flidiot, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Sir Tito655, Michael Menchaka, Raytheus, Afterlord, Betrayal1489, Silvio Nato, Striker Elk, Tidal One Fun, Victor Sundstrom, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Benon Games, The Passenger, Kani Wu, Max Bernhardt, Mukao 1017, BB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Gabriel Egg, Feko, Vake Botnet, Dante Victory, Matinu Death, Snack HBG, Only, Lord Fasil, Spots the Kaiser, That Archie Guy, Louis Bento Brandau, Snuffle Pop, Tails Curse Pet, The Wolf Rake, Gaber Wolf, Live Love Maple Story, Kali, Duckfoos, Quinn, Migu, and Mark Set. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!